Just a young girl with a quick fuse. I was uptight, wanna let loose. I was dreaming of bigger things and wanna leave my old life behind. Not a yes sir, not a follow up. What's up, y'all? This is Witty. I'm about to do a product review on a new rod and on some sheep's head tackle. So, uh, first, as you all know, I like catching sheep's head, as you can tell. So, uh, this is right here is my was my go-to rod, the Shakespeare GX2, right here. It's a little beat up, so I said it's time for me to get some new material. So, I can see it's muddy and everything. And, uh, but, uh, I went to a new rod. It's basically an upgrade from this GX2 made by Shakespeare. So, let me go ahead and put this to the side and show y'all what's next. This right here, I got from Walmart. And, uh, I'll post a link. If I can find the link to it online, I'll go ahead and post that. But, it's regular price is like $29, but it's on sale for $17. So I got a basically all my sheep's head rods are these now. It is the Shakespeare Intrepid. That's it right there. And right now, I don't know where my, my uh, handle is to it. So I did tighten it up when I bought it. So I hope that I can find it in the house. If not, I'm taking it back go get find another one but yeah this is the intrepid and it's six foot medium action pole it's got some nice grips on it and this rod has a gear ratio of 5.51 it says hold the four pounds 190 yards six pounds 140 yards and eight pounds 110 yards so basically it's probably a freshwater rod for like pan fish or something like that or bass but I'm going to use it for sheep's head it's not an ugly stick but it'll do the job just as well and what I do for my line and my leader line and sinkers is for my main line I'm going to be using 65 pound power pro that's my go-to line for it. It's nice and tough, so she said try to get away, they're not going nowhere. So that's why I never lose the big ones because I use old ones. Most people usually use 30, but I use 65 just to be on safe because you never know when you're going to get something else big on your line. I better be safe than sorry. For the leader line, I use vanished flow carbon leader material. 30 pounds that's what I use for my leader line and depending on the sinkers I went away from the egg weights to these sinkers the basic I call them torpedo sinkers y'all may know them by another name but they come in this size this is three-fourths this is a uh, one half right here and this is size two so depending on your water conditions here they go right here depending on your water conditions that's what I use. So I tie the main line to this right here, this swivel, and and tie the uh, leader line to this bottom part right here. And as for my hooks, I only use one hook, one type of brand, and that is Owner. I use number one Owners. You know, these are the basic ones, number one, but if I'm having problems with Number ones, I usually go, I start off with number twos, right here, so those are number two, SSW with super needle point, or the number ones, SSW with super needle point, those are my go-to hooks, and after I finish, this is the finished product, after, after I hook up my line, you have the 65 pound, going all the way up here, to my torpedo sinker, this is a different brand of torpedo sinker from those, but it still works the same. Then I have my leader line. This is going kind of short, but you can make it any length that you you like, like five. I don't make it no more than 
six inches. That's what I usually go to with a number one owner hook right there. So that's my this is my sheep's head setup right here. So if y'all right now, these are at Walmart. Depends. Not all Walmarts may have them, but it's they have a pink one, an orange one, and a fluorescent green, all them fluorescent. Yep, so that's my product review. And uh, hopefully I get to put these into action and show y'all some catches with these new rods. See how they test out on the water. So we'll probably try that tomorrow. So not sure, because the weather been really not so good. But uh, we'll see. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And I'll post the links, if I can find them at the bottom, in the description page part of this video. Thanks. Bye.